That's awesome. I never hit record. <laughs> Welcome to late season goose hunting, Northeast Indiana. This past Saturday, the Canada geese really wanted to have nothing to do with me, but I did manage to work a really nice flock of mallards and a flock of speckle belly geese, which I don't get into very often. The day overall was pretty frustrating, bright sunny day. I actually tuned into my buddies at Dave Smith Decoys in a recent podcast, trying to seek out some advice for the day. You'll see how well that went. Also, we're coming off of the polar vortex of this past week that swept the Midwest. My youngest daughter and I decided to go to Michigan and ski on the so-called mountains of Southern Michigan. We do it every winter, we have a good time. So enjoy a few seconds of that footage before we get into some goose hunting. Enjoy and please hit subscribe at the end of this video. So we're going up to Michigan to go skiing today because it's Friday, it's been bitter cold for the last couple days and school's canceled. So I said, skip work, let's go. Here you go. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Here it is, a Sunday morning in Indiana. Uh, it's late in the season, time's running out on us. So we got probably one last hunt, maybe another after this, we'll see. We're gonna hurry up and get set up and get going, knock down some birds. We've had birds in here for several days in a row. Spot checked it yesterday, was gonna hunt it yesterday, ended up not, saved it for today. So This morning I put out about four dozen decoys. It's gotten really warm the last few days. We just came off that big polar vortex that took the country by storm. Um, it was so cold, but now this morning it's about 38, pushing 40 degrees. So we had a lot of melt off overnight, um, a lot of corn stubbles exposed. This is a spot where they are just in here nonstop. There are piles of them in here yesterday. So should be pretty good. Actually, I got birds up right now in front of me. And it's barely 20 minutes into legal time. Let's see what these do. All right here. Almost wonder if that batch of birds wasn't bumped off their roost by some ice fishermen or something. It's awful early for them to be flying. There's lots of ducks flying right now. I saw some geese moving across from roost to roost. It's so much brighter than it was supposed to be. Like, there's hardly any clouds. Um, out in front of me, there's a cloud bank, which you can't see on this camera. But it was supposed to be cloudy. I hate, hate, hate hunting on sunny days. But... That's pretty cool. Those, uh, it's not duck season, but uh, those ducks came right in here on top of me. I mean, I almost could reach up and grab them. Landed a couple right next to me. So uh, it's finally starting to cloud up. So I'm kind of getting hopeful here that I might have some geese. Uh, I don't like the bright sun because you have such harsh shadows and uh, it just seems like birds can just pick things out so much easier. So. We'll see, hopefully these clouds do us a favor. What the 
<laughs> that was a flock of specks. Specks are, uh, they're, I can't seem to kill them, and I don't know why. We don't get many of them here. Uh, last year I got into one flock, that's the first flock I've seen this year. I knew what they were almost, when they were probably 50 yards out, I was like, holy cow, those are specks. Sat up, thought I had one of them centered, bang. Missed it, obviously. <laughs> someday, someday I'll get a speck. So this sun is just killing this day. It's frustrating, but I'm breaking it all out. So I'm gonna see if I can't get some advice from my buddies at DSD. I got the uh, DSD podcast going on out here. I don't know if you can see it on my phone. This is gonna be a Brad Cochran's voice. Q and A. Um, goose Q and A. Hey Brad. Hey Brad. Why can't I kill a goose today? Here in the near future, but would it still be a goose? Brad, I don't want to talk about turkeys. A few months away, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up. Brad. A more episodes. I need to know how to kill some geese. So, uh, anyhow, one, oh, one question I do see here though from Nathan Here's Bender one question Nathan is regarding turkeys new turkey product oh I don't care about turkeys right now I care about geese Brad geese actually I'd rather be turkey hunting quite honest it's Dave. one is uh, just for you Brad <laughs> and it is why are your decoys so expensive because <laughs> they're the best come on Oh, maybe I'll check out Joe Joe Rogan's podcast. Maybe he'll help me because Brad just wants to talk about turkeys right now. Well, here we are. It's uh, it's noon, and uh, man, this day was not supposed to be bright like this. I really watched the weather. I gambled yesterday and didn't hunt, uh, thinking today would be the better weather day, and I was wrong. Um, it's about 50 degrees right now and the snow is just really melting fast. And my fear is things are actually getting pretty slimy. <clears throat> and I've got my truck and trailer and I could sit here all afternoon, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm afraid of getting stuck when things get real greasy uh, like this, when you got things frozen down below and then <clears throat> that top couple inches of mud starts uh, thawing out so we're gonna wrap it up you know obviously didn't kill a bird today landed some uh, mallards and uh, missed a speck and you know that's the way it is I'm still gonna publish this uh, video out there because not all hunts uh, have to end in limits um, or kills or anything I had a great time my dog and I just out here enjoying the morning uh, the weather's finally breaking it actually kind of got more of a spring turkey feel going on to it than anything and uh, we're gonna pack things up. So that's it, we're gonna call it a wraps and uh, get packed up and get out of here before we get stuck.